Hi, I'm Steve from Nearly Wild and today I'm here with Ben Porter. Ben, um, tell us a little bit about what you do. So I am a bit of a sort of all round sort of ecologist really, um, particularly interested in birds, um, insects and moths. Um, I grew up on an island off, off North Wales called Bardsey Island where um, I was sort of trained to do sort of bird ringing and monitoring work, particularly with seabirds, um, and really fell in love with sort of like wildlife photography as well. Um, so I've been doing that for a lot of my life, sort of on and off, um, sometimes in a sort of professional capacity, sometimes just for, you know, just for the hobby, really. Yeah, right. yeah Bardsey, for those of you who don't know, is a really interesting island. Um, very special for birds, particularly shearwaters, isn't it? I'll say it shearwaters, yeah, um, exactly. Off the Clean Peninsula in North Wales. Um, really special place to be brought up yeah then. it's pretty um incredible experience yeah yeah, yeah did absolutely. you actually meet many people though or was it all about birds and uh, well it changes in the seasons yeah. uh, in the winter there's virtually no one there so it was just me and my family for um the 11 years that we were there and then in the spring and summer you get a lot more visitors coming and the people that stay there through the spring summer and autumn arrive as well so there's about 15 sort of summer residents that live there so there's a bit more of a community in the spring and summer and it's uh yeah, it gets a bit busier, but it's still fantastic, yeah. So today we're actually near McHuntleth, um in Mid Wales. So tell us a little bit about what you what you do, as well as the sort of being brought up in this in these amazing places and now working in an amazing area. That's it. Um, you, I understand you obviously do a bit of photography. Tell me a little bit more about it then. Yeah, so um, I guess I, I got really involved with photography when I was on, on, on Bardsey. Just absolutely loved capturing images of, of wildlife and just trying to highlight the incredible diversity of things that there are. Um, and then um, the last few years um, I've been trying to use photography um, both in terms of sort of insects um, and birds and, and wider habitats. Um, we have a group um, of sort of young wildlife photographers um, that we've tried to bring and um, bring together across the UK. So right. I've been sort of partly involved with some groups that are trying to um, try to bring what young wildlife photographers all across the UK together um, and that's been a really fantastic experience you know meeting other wildlife photographers from across the country and um, that's been fantastic and then um, being in a completely new place I only got to Machantleth uh, last year really and yeah. I've been exploring the W Valley and the mountains and you know you've got incredible valleys full of you know woodland birds which isn't a sort of habitat or ecosystem that I've had much experience in before Absolutely. so I've been really getting getting to grips with you know getting images of, of, of sort of like woodlands and birds and things and I've been supplying some images to organizations like the Woodland Trust who are using them in sort of magazines and from online uh, media and that sort of thing which Excellent. has been happening a bit in the last year and then um, I have a website with you know a lot of my images that I've taken particularly from Bardi um, and you know I get requests for using those images in different you know sort of publications and that sort of thing some of them are just you know sort of what I might call just pretty images obviously and yeah. some of them are more um, for the specific you know species and things like that because I have a lot of insect images of moths and things that maybe not as many people would, would have um, right. but I don't know if I've got a particular niche yet really um, but just love you know just love capturing images of the natural world really. Sounds fascinating because um, we were talking earlier on as we were walking over here um, we're actually on a nature reserve RSPB nature reserve at the moment and um, you were talking as well about doing guided walks and things is this something that you do a lot or you're hoping to do more of? Um, I think I'm hoping to do more of it I've, I've done it sort of informally um, in the past like mm. when I was at university um, we'd have societies and things had an ecological society that I got heavily involved with and you'd take out students and um, sometimes arrange public ones for you know just your average people to come along to and take people out showing them the wildlife helping with identification and that sort mm. of thing and I've done a few of those in the valley here this year as well you know like dawn chorus walks and doing moth trapping mornings where you show people the moths that you have um, and so it's a bit of a sort of like just a sort of general habit that you know I just enjoy doing that sort of thing but considering doing more of, of, of those in that area you know showing what wildlife we have already here mm. and maybe some of the more remote areas that people wouldn't normally go to you know some of the up in the mountains you know showing them maybe what there has been there and the different forms of land management and you know what species you find in the different habitats that sort of thing um, so I'm considering that yeah maybe next year and developing something along those lines yeah, yeah. well you've also got a huge body of knowledge to draw on even though you're still relatively young because of having such an unusual starting point I suppose yeah for sure. and, um, but I understand you're off to get a bit warmer this winter That's so where right. are you off to? So this winter I'm going to be in the Azores um, on a little tiny island off uh, one of the main islands there so an archipelago sort of volcanic archipelago of islands 
uh, sort of mid-Atlantic ridge for those that don't know and uh, a friend of mine is doing a PhD there on petrel species there's a few petrel species that breed there very small seabirds yeah. um, that spend almost 90 percent of their lives out at sea and oh, just return incredible. to land to just breed yeah. um, so we well she's out there looking at uh, their sort of breeding biology and one of the species is relatively newly discovered in a sense um, was only found to be a different species a few years ago so there's relatively little known about them and I'm going to be helping with some GPS tracking work finding out where they're foraging interactions with fisheries um, and how that impacts um, their sort of breeding as well and their breeding success and things in land yeah wow I see a bit of a pattern forming here there's sort of islands in remote places certainly is but yeah a bit now following the sun for the winter months maybe exactly yeah certainly. so summers here in Britain bit of guiding bit of photography and then out somewhere warm in the winter we'll see if that becomes a habit i don't yeah, know <laughs> I, 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 I like the idea it, it's got a nice flow to it yeah that's uh, really good well um that's really interesting ben so just obviously for those of you who are interested there'll be links at the bottom of the video obviously explaining more about what ben does and to obviously things like his um photography site and other things that are going on at the moment and hopefully in the future meanwhile really good to meet you thanks, thanks for Steve. a lovely walk this evening cheers. and good luck with the next stage thank you very much cheers thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you liked it subscribe if you didn't like it leave a reason in the comments as to why